when the weather starts to get a little chilly out there, George Springer knows it's time for playoff baseball. And he knows that every single game down the stretch is huge. And it's also when he's his best. Blue Jays win this one 5-1 on the back of George Springer, who drives in four of the five runs as a two-homer day. And just a beautiful sound win. Jays fans, when have we had a game like that? Where you didn't absolutely slaughter a team like 13-1 or something like that. But this was a sound, nice, relaxing win. Gosman, outstanding. Clutch hits, great. You got some long ball. The defense was very, very good today. And you got a nice 5-1 win. You've won back-to-back games, and the Blue Jays, for the first time this year, are 16 games over the 500 mark at 79-63. and 63. Let's break this thing down, because there's a lot of positives to talk about when it comes to this game. You know, a lot of times we're like, well, they should have done this against this team. Or, oh, they won, but my God. Like last night. Today? No, nah, just a lot of good vibes. You had eight hits today. You scored five runs on those eight hits. And in the bottom of the fourth inning, George Springer gets a curveball from, or slider, from Zach Greinke. It's on the outer half, but Springer pulls it deep to left field, and it's gone! And in that bottom of the fourth inning, that's the first hit of the game for the Blue Jays, and they have a 1-0 lead. Great start. I don't, know, this is, I don't know what's going on with this light. There we go. I think we're good there. And you got a first hit of the ball game. You got the lead. Good vibes flowing. Top five, though, Edward Olivares gets a hanging curveball from Kevin Gosman. Yeah, curveball. And it's disposed of into the seats in about left center field. And it's 1-1. Bottom five, though. Kirk gets on. Varsho hits a double. You have second and third, nobody out. Great things. Ernie Clement, shallow fly ball. Nobody moves up. Kevin Kiermeyer strikes out. And we're like, oh, no. We're not going to watch this opportunity go to waste. But George Springer gets another slider from Zach Greinke. Except this time, it's middle away on the corner or even off the plate a bit. But George Springer stays in the big part of the ballpark. Line drive up the middle for a base hit. In comes Kirk. In comes Varsho. And the Jays get a two-out, two-run knock. They had it yesterday. We talked about their numbers with runners in scoring position. You know, I think it was, what, last week? Or in that Oakland series, something like that. How their average with runners in scoring position over the last like month has been very good. And then this is now back-to-back days. You've got two out knocks that have driven in multiple runs. Big time shot for George Springer to give the Jays the lead back. It's now 3-1. Then bottom six rolls around. After Vladdy gets on with a ringing or a line drive single to left. I wouldn't say it was a ringing single. It was a line drive to left. And two of his hits today, line drives. You love to see it. Both of his hits, piss missiles. Awesome stuff from Vladdy. Kevin Biggio comes up, and he loves the soft throwing pitchers, man. And this guy is, he didn't like the velocity, so you give him a Zach Greinke, he's licking his chops. And he drills a ball to right center field, and it goes all the way to the wall. Vladdy figures out it's, it's going to drop and go all the way to the wall early enough that he boogies around second, Boogies around third, adds around and hurt, fires the helmet off, and he slides in, and what a gorgeous slide from Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Pulling that left hand back, swimming around Sal Perez, and sliding in safely to make it a 4-1 Jays lead. So, let's recap Vladi to this point. He's got two hits, both ringing singles, good base running, really good slide at the plate. Okay, you like to see it. And then we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. George Springer back at the dish, and he puts up a really good at bat. A really good, I think it was Zerpa, is, was the pitcher he was facing, a lefty, who's got some good stuff, and he, George was battling, right? Foul off 95, 96, right in the inner corner, fouling it off, fouling it off. Gets the slider on the outer half, middle away. Seems like he was buzzing with that today. And he drills it to right center field, and it's into the Royals' bullpen. And the Jinx now lead it 5-1. And it was it, it was great to see that because, honestly, when you're up 4-1, I'm like, I don't really know if I want to see Boba Shed out there. As much as I love the guy and he got the day off, I don't know if you need him out there. 
and he was swinging about, ready to come in as George was at the plate, hits the home run, stuff goes away. And I'm like, nice, give Bo that day off, and then tomorrow and right through Texas, let him fly. All right? 5-1 Blue Jays there, and a big win, and shout out Vladimir Guerrero Jr., really nice play. I think it was, who hit the chopper? It wasn't Bobby Witt. Either way, it was chopped. Ernie Clement comes up with it. Fires a little bit of a wild throw off. Vladdy jumps, gets it, brings the... Glo- no, it was Oliveris, right? And it comes down on his shoulder with a really nice tag. So, let's recap Vladdy's last couple days, shall we? He had the two-run double yesterday, which ignited himself and got everyone fired up in the building after it was dead for most of the game. He gets the two, hit, two hits today, both line drives. He does a really nice base running, great slide to score a big run. And he makes a really nice defensive play. I believe it was in the seventh inning. Look, I'm not saying anything turn the corner or whatnot because at this point of the year, you are who you are. But confidence-wise, Vladdy, he's he's flying right now. The first couple games of this series, he's done a phenomenal job. Would love to see it continue into tomorrow because tomorrow's pitcher, look, the numbers may not suggest that he is outstanding of a pitcher. Goal, ERA of three, but he has been ridiculous as a Kansas City role. We'll get into him shortly. But team stats. George Springer, obviously the big day in the office. Three for four, two runs scored, four RBIs, and two home runs. A big day for George. And uh, Spencer Horwitz had a hit. Vladdy, two for four, the run score in the ball game. Good stuff there. David Schneider had a tough time against the soft-throwing righty. Uh, either way, 0 you know, for four, three strikeouts, but he's going to have an off day no matter what, so that's fine. Rather have it when someone else is cooking, right? It's a good stuff there. Uh, Varsho had a hit. Gavin had a hit. That's it, though. Eight hits total for the Blue Jays. You know, Springer and Vladdy combined for five of the eight hits. And what did we talk about in that Oakland series, right? Even the finale. I think it was him, uh, Witt, and Vladdy combined for like no hits in like the finale of that series. Well, they combined for five of the eight today and got the win. So, good stuff for them. They, you, your best players... We're your best players today. Five strikeouts in the ball game, only walked one time. Kevin Gosman, as much as the offense was great and Vladdy was great and Springer was had a two-homer day, Kevin Gosman was outstanding. He needed this desperately. Got the hair chopped off. And he goes out there and he has a masterful masterful performance. I believe his eighth game this year where he's had 10 or, plus, 10 or more strikeouts and his 20th of his career. He had 10 punches through eight innings, allowed two hits, the solo shot, and one more. One run, one walk, and 10 punches. A phenomenal, phenomenal outing for Kevin Gosman. And just with the doctor order, because the Blue Jays had to use five relievers yesterday and a lot of high pitch counts yesterday. So in in, the fact that you didn't have to use anything crazy, Jordan Hicks came in there. I think he had a really quick inning as well, didn't he? Seven pitches. So I think he threw 11 yesterday and seven today. Obviously, he's not available tomorrow, but he will easily be ready to go in game one against the Texas Rangers. So really good stuff from the bullpen. Gosman was outstanding. The offense came in through, through with some big hits. You had a couple home runs. Your defense was good. Shout out Dalton Varsho, the great jumping catch at the wall. Incredible play there. And you won a ball game. Now, tomorrow, as I mentioned, you're facing off against Cole Reagans who I've been listening about, and he's, he's pretty good. He's pretty damn good from the left side. Let me check out his numbers with the Kansas City Royals. He's had eight games, eight starts, 47 and two-thirds innings. He has an ERA of 151, and he has 63 strikeouts in 47 and two-thirds innings. He's fin- he's having a really good season for them. Very minimal sample size. Obviously, 47 innings isn't too, too much, but... Eight starts, and he's been very good for the Kansas City Royals. So we'll see how the Blue Jays react there in the finale. Jose Barrios gets the ball for the Blue Jays tomorrow. He's coming off a really good outing against the Oakland A's. Obviously, two solo shots in that game and nothing more. So he, if you can go out there and give yourself a chance to win, that's all you ask from Jose Barrios. Blue Jays offense, keep it rolling. You scored five today. You scored five yesterday. Let's keep it rolling tomorrow. All right, so you know what, guys, that is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and the win today, because if you didn't, you're uh, just not a Jays fan, uh, clearly. Hit that like button, I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, you guys not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game, what you like, what you not like from today's game for the Toronto Blue Jays. Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is down below, so follow up there if you guys have not done so already. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow uh, afternoon. Jays edition. 
Cole Reagans. Jose Barrios is the pitching matchup there in the finale against the Royals. We talked about what we wanted to see in this series. You have a chance to do it tomorrow. Get it done any way you can. Jose Barrios, Cole Reagans. I think it's a 137 first pitch at Roger Center. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the win today because it was relaxing. We'll talk to you guys then.